Hi, I'm Michael Nadlin from Market Lead, and today's video is about how to structure your lead generation PMAX campaigns. This video should be a really fast video because I'm just going to show how on a high level I structure the campaigns and then how I use it to audit and analyze the data. So as you can see here, I've hidden a few campaigns, but I've just kept my search campaigns here and then also my PMAX campaigns down here. And what you'll notice at first is the PMAX campaigns are segmented out in campaigns. The reason why is because when you do have a lot of asset groups in a performance max campaign, you can't see the individual data. So what I recommend is if you do want to clear insights towards the performance or how those audience segments are going, you do want to segment them out on a campaign level. So for this client, you can see here, I've got high intent signals, self-managed super funds, automated investment and portfolio services, competitors, all purchases, people interested in investment services, generic search terms and investment training. And the reason why it's segmented out like this is because I want to see the insights of the performance before even the conversion data. I want to see what the interaction or the CTRs are like. I also want to see what the average session durations are, average pages visited, bounce rates are. Because without these insights, I can't make optimizations towards the creative, to the copy, or even just knowing full stop if it is working or not. Now, as you'll notice here, there's definitely like these budgets are quite small for this client, 30, 20, 10, and then a lot of twos. The reason why I kept a lot of twos is because I actually just wanted to run them just to see what data or what insights I could get from the conversions. The interesting thing is these ones actually do get conversions, but due to some budget restrictions on this client, I've just kept it pretty small on that. But I think the main thing that I wanted to share in this is when you do run it for lead generation, you want to make sure that firstly, the setting is only going towards the landing page and you turn off the expanded URL targeting. And the next thing is when you are doing it, start to look at the metrics that are the metrics that are the most important ones to look to. So a CTRs are always a good place to start off with, conversion rates, time on site, and then pages visited. You can see here that there are definitely different audiences that go much better in terms of engagement, like the average pages have visited. If the average page is 2.19, that anything above that is actually performing above the campaign's benchmarks and anything below it's actually performing lower than it. And the same for the average time on site. So this gives me great indication towards what is performing the best in terms of time on site, in terms of pages visited, and in terms of bounce rates as well. So the thing I really wanna share about this video is if you are doing this, split them out by different campaigns, you'll get a higher level number. It's so much easier to optimize these because if you optimize like this, you actually know what's working. If these were all lumped in asset groups in one campaign, I'd have no idea what was working. Then I can't optimize it. Then I can't get better results for clients. At the end of the day, the goal is for Google Ads to have as much control on a high level so you can allocate budgets better and allocate optimizations better because if you can't control it, you can't influence it, you can't manage it, you can't get good results. So I'll leave it there. This should be a quick little three, four minute video. But if you like this, remember like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. And if you're ready to become a market leader and you're serious about increasing your sales, increasing your customers and scaling your business with Google Ads, have a chat with someone at my team about your Google Ads account at marketlead.com.au. 